Among ancient humans, none were as robust or as mysterious as the Neanderthals. Stockier, stronger, and with larger skulls than modern humans, they survived the harsh Ice Age landscapes of Europe for hundreds of thousands of years. These weren't primitive cave dwellers. They controlled fire, crafted sophisticated tools, and displayed a level of intelligence that challenges everything we thought we knew about human evolution. Here's what makes this story so fascinating. Right now, if you're watching this video and your ancestors came from anywhere outside Sub-Saharan Africa, you carry roughly 2% Neanderthal DNA in your cells. That genetic legacy comes from multiple episodes of interbreeding between our species and theirs, occurring thousands of years before Neanderthals vanished across most of Europe by 40,000 years ago, with isolated populations living on for several millennia longer. The evidence of their capabilities keeps growing, and some of the most remarkable discoveries are hidden in the most unexpected places. In Gibraltar's limestone cliffs lies the Gorham's Cave Complex, where archaeologists have uncovered one of the most informative discoveries in recent Neanderthal research. This UNESCO World Heritage Site has been revealing secrets about our ancient relatives since research began in 2012, but nothing prepared scientists for what they found in the nearby Vanguard Cave. Hidden beneath layers of sediment was evidence of a sophisticated operation that would challenge everything we thought we knew about Neanderthal intelligence. The discovery centered around a 65,000-year-old hearth dated through uranium thorium analysis of cave sediments that served as what researchers now call a tar factory in a 2024 study published in Quaternary Science Reviews. This wasn't just any campfire. The Neanderthals had constructed a precise heating system designed for one specific purpose, creating sticky black tar from rock rose leaves. The process they developed required maintaining temperatures of exactly 300 degrees Fahrenheit in a low oxygen environment using carefully selected thin twigs to control the heat. They used guano and sand to restrict oxygen flow, demonstrating remarkable understanding of pyrotechnology. Getting the temperature wrong would either burn the leaves to ash or fail to extract the precious tar completely. What makes this discovery extraordinary is the level of materials chemistry it demonstrates. The Neanderthals had to understand that heating organic material in the absence of oxygen would break down the plant compounds and release tar. They needed to know which specific plants would work, how long to heat them, and when to extract the finished product. This wasn't trial and error. It was sophisticated pyrotechnology applied with precision that modern humans didn't achieve until over 20,000 years later. The physical evidence tells an even more fascinating story. Researchers found a pair of straight furrows cut into the ground on either sides of the hearth, suggesting that two Neanderthals worked as a team during the extraction process. This pairing of furrows on opposite sides of the pit matches replicated experiments showing two people working in synchrony. When the leaves reached the perfect temperature, both workers would quickly remove the hot material from opposite sides of the fire. Speed was critical because separating the tar from the cooled leaves becomes much more difficult once the temperature drops. Modern researchers successfully replicated the entire process using only materials and techniques available to Neanderthals 65,000 years ago, including Cystus ladanifer rock rose and natural sand. They produced high-quality tar that functioned as a durable adhesive and sealant for spear tips, creating composite weapons far superior to simple stone tools that could withstand harsh weather conditions and repeated use. The Vanguard Cave Tar Factory represents sophisticated technological innovation that emerged independently from similar developments in modern human populations. While Homo sapiens were still crafting basic stone tools in Africa, Neanderthals in Europe had already mastered complex chemical processes. 
This technology fits into a broader pattern of Neanderthal material culture that reveals cognitive capabilities far beyond what scientists previously imagined. Yet this technical mastery was only one dimension of their sophisticated minds. Buried beneath 51,000 years of sediment in Bavaria's Einhorn Höhle lay a giant deer bone, its surface covered with deliberate engravings that told a story of artistic expression. This single phalanx bone would ignite one of the most heated debates in prehistoric archaeology, forcing scientists to reconsider whether creativity was truly a uniquely modern human trait. The bone itself measured roughly four inches long and bore a series of intersecting lines carved into its surface. These weren't random scratches from butchering or tool sharpening. Under powerful microscopes, researchers could see that each line had been created through controlled, systematic movements. The engraving showed evidence of planning, with some lines deliberately intersecting others to create distinct chevron shapes. Five chevrons with angles between 92 degrees and 100 degrees. The depth and consistency of the cuts revealed that the Neanderthal artist had applied steady pressure while maintaining precise control over their stone tool. Scientific skepticism ran high when the discovery was first announced. Critics argued that the markings could have been accidental, perhaps created during the process of extracting marrow or preparing the bone for tool use. Others questioned whether the dating was accurate, suggesting that modern humans might have created the engravings at a later period. The central debate focused on intent. Were these truly deliberate artistic expressions or simply the byproduct of practical activities? Microscopic analysis provided the answer. Researchers examined the bone under high magnification, studying the direction and depth of each engraving. They found that the lines had been created in multiple sessions, with the artist returning to add new marks over existing ones. The pattern of tool marks showed deliberate planning, with the creator carefully positioning their stone implement to achieve specific angles and intersections. This level of intentionality could not be explained by accidental damage or utilitarian use. The unicorn cave bone was not an isolated discovery. At La Roche-Cotard cave in France, researchers discovered finger flutings, deliberate patterns traced into soft cave sediments by Neanderthal hands. These wavy lines and curves served no practical purpose beyond artistic expression Yet, they were created with the same intentional care seen in the German engravings. Over 70 sites show Neanderthal ochre use, and several contain painted objects or surfaces. These ancient humans collected red ochre, yellow iron oxides, and black manganese dioxide, grinding them into powder for body painting and cave decoration. Chemical analysis revealed that they had processed these materials using specific techniques to enhance their color properties. Some sites contained shells that had been deliberately perforated to serve as containers for pigments, showing that Neanderthals understood the value of these materials and took care to preserve them. The timeline of these discoveries reveals something remarkable about Neanderthal development. Hints of engraved objects as old as 120,000 years suggest early symbolic behavior, while the earliest reliable evidence of their artistic expression dates back around 65,000 years, long before modern humans reached Europe around 54,000 years ago. This means that Neanderthals developed their aesthetic sensibilities independently, without influence from our species. From Spain's pigment-smeared stalagmites to Gibraltar's hashtag engraving, their artistry spanned the continent. Yet artistic expression represented just one facet of their remarkable cognitive abilities. Behind their artistic abilities lay an even more sophisticated cognitive achievement, their mastery of stone tool production. Between 200,000 and 400,000 years ago, Neanderthals developed what archaeologists call the Levallois technique, 
a revolutionary method of tool making that required extraordinary mental planning and spatial reasoning. This wasn't simply chipping away at rocks until something sharp emerged. The Levallois method relied on preparing a core's shape so that a single predetermined flake would detach, demonstrating forward planning and spatial visualization that had to be completed before making the first strike. The process began with selecting the right core stone, typically flint or chert, with specific fracture properties. Neanderthal nappers would examine the raw material, rotating it in their hands to identify the optimal striking platforms and removal surfaces. They needed to understand how force would travel through the stone matrix and predict where fractures would occur. This required three-dimensional visualization skills that modern humans don't fully develop until adolescence, yet Neanderthals were applying these concepts hundreds of thousands of years ago. A 2025 study published in Archaeological and Anthropological Sciences used soda-lime glass cores and controlled strike angles to reveal just how sophisticated their technique actually was. The research found that hammer strike angle significantly affects the fracture path and form of stone flakes produced during the Middle Paleolithic, contradicting previous models that credited rock core geometry with flaking patterns. At zero degrees, strikes flakes were larger. At 20 degrees, they were narrower, proof of Neanderthal control of flake outcomes that demonstrated precise engineering rather than random hammering. The study revealed something remarkable about Neanderthal decision-making. These ancient toolmakers deliberately manipulated strike angle as part of a skilled process aimed at controlling flake size, shape, and termination. Detaching larger flakes at low angles required greater force and involved increased risk of core failure, meaning that strike angle selection reflected active decisions balancing effort against desired outcome. Modern napping experiments show achieving consistent Levallois flakes takes dedicated practice over dozens of trial cores, with group observation and imitation playing crucial roles as novices learn by watching skilled nappers. The cognitive demands were staggering. Neanderthal nappers integrated sensory feedback, memory of core shape, and precise motor control, skills that mirror modern brain functions. Research shows Neanderthal brains averaged larger volume, but had a different shape, less globular, with reduced parietal bulging compared to Homo sapiens. Yet, despite these organizational differences in neural architecture, they achieved technological sophistication that wouldn't appear in modern human populations for tens of thousands of years. The Levallois technique spread across Neanderthal populations from Western Europe to Central Asia, suggesting that this knowledge was transmitted culturally across vast distances and time periods. This technological tradition persisted for over 200,000 years, indicating that Neanderthal communities possessed both the cognitive capacity to master complex techniques and the social structures necessary to preserve and transmit specialized knowledge across generations. These discoveries paint a picture that challenges fundamental assumptions about intelligence and capability in our ancient relatives. From complex chemistry in Gibraltar to geometric engravings and advanced napping, Neanderthals charted their own path of technological and creative brilliance. The evidence from tar factories, engraved bones, and sophisticated stone tool production reveals a truth that reshapes our understanding of human evolution. These ancient humans possessed genuine creativity, advanced technology, and symbolic thinking that developed independently from modern humans through their own evolutionary pathway. Their achievements challenge us to broaden our view of human cognitive evolution. Next time you look at your smartphone or car engine, remember that human ingenuity has deep parallel roots, and Neanderthals helped define what it means to be human. Which Neanderthal achievement surprised you most? Share your thoughts in the comments below.